What is up, my friends? That is a big truck. <laughs> nah, it's just a tractor trailer. But look at this pavement. It's all scare fired and whatnot. What do you guys call that? Is that grooved, scare fired, milled? I don't know. What do you call it in your neck of the woods? And by neck of the woods, I mean your geographical location. Because I use a lot of colloquialisms, which is local terms that mean different things, I think. <laughs> Tell you what, hold on. Tell you what, one time I called my wife and she's like, oh, how was your drive into work? I was like, oh, I had to go around Robin Hood's barn. I get a call about a half hour later from the same wife. It's mine, been married to her for a while now. Anyway, <laughs> she's like, I Googled it. There is no such thing as Robin Hood's barn. And this week you've gone four different ways to work. And I was like, yeah, honey, I know that. Robin Hood's barn means you just go the long way to avoid something else. And right now I'm leaving a huge gap, which is probably pissing somebody behind me off and they can go pound sand because I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, that I have reduced traction on this grooved pavement. So I do not want to have to hit my brakes very hard. So I'm leaving a big safety gap. Safety, it's job three around here. <laughs> ah, good time. Good times were had by some. And by some, I mean me. And I wasn't even gonna record today, but this is a fun one. <laughs> I'm stuck in traffic. Why not talk to my viewers? It's not like I'm going live or anything. I should do another live stream. Haven't had a break in the schedule to do it. Everybody else seems to want to do the lives and then your old buddy John doesn't get to. Yeah, come on over. I got nothing, nothing but space and time, baby. Don't get in a rush when you're riding your motorbike. That's just asking for trouble. And how do you deal with groove pavement as a motorcyclist? You try to pick a line that doesn't have as many deep grooves in it. Like there's one right about there and there's some holes on the left side. So I'm trying to stay away from those. Keep your speed about you. You might have limited traction. So you definitely want to keep your, uh, your input smooth as it were. And also light grip on the handlebars. The bike's gonna wanna do this underneath of you a little bit. There's a big hole, avoid those. But the bike wants to do this. You just have to let it do its thing a little bit. It's not gonna dump you over. The bike wants to stay upright. And I'm not one to normally give out tips, but this I know something about. So you wanna definitely stay sort of towards the center of the lane, because if you get a corner, you wanna be able to adjust your line, but avoid the big stuff and keep a light, uh, keep a light handle on the bars. Be easy, relax. But now's a good time to ask you, how you doing out there in YouTube land? Are you having a good day? My day is pretty good. They uh, they scare fired this about a week and a half ago, and I've been riding through it almost every day. The, uh, the rains came and the drivers came and it knocked all the dust down. So because there's less dust, it, uh, it doesn't make me fearful that the front end of my bike is gonna get all chewed up. It probably will, and I won't realize it until it's too late, but yeah, hey, them's the brakes, you know? Just kind of got to roll with it. I can always buy a new fender and bearing. Hell yeah. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Hey, honey, I, I bought new tins for my bike because it got chewed up because I rode on the scare fired pavement. And she's like, why did you do that? And I was like, because somebody told me it was a good idea to ride. It was her. It was her. And Crackin' Eric, my buddy from Southern Virginia. Hell yeah, dude. And it looks like we're cruising again. Hey, you want to hear something? All right, so I've got the vent closed. And hey, Preacher Motor Man Jeff, are you listening? I have the vent closed on my fairing there. And this is what I sound like at 55. This is what I sound like with the vent open. Is there a difference? I have the vent closed on my fairing there. And this is what I sound like at 55. This is what I sound like with the vent open. Is there a difference? Is there a difference in the Hero 9's audio? I wonder. 
inquiring minds would like to know. Really, I just had it closed because bump, my uh, cigar burns slower. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Anyway, gotta run. See you later. Remember the two mantras. You have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day and do something nice for yourself every day. John out.